Hi, uh, my name's George Luongo. I was born in Eastport, section of Annapolis, in 1951. I've been working on the oyster, on the oyster bar since 1969 after graduating from high school. I'm currently uh, co-director of the Working Waterman's Association of Anne Arundel County. Also, I sit on the seed committee of Queen Anne's County. And also, I'm a member of the Maryland Oysterman's Association. What we're doing today, we're going to do some hand tall on South River. And the first oyster bar we're going to go to, we, we call Limehouse Hollow. The state calls it Rock, Rock Point. What I'm going to do when I get on the bar here, I'm going to use I'm going to use a drag chain. It's the old-fashioned old method of locating oysters. What you do, you drag this chain at a slow pace, and the oysters will grab that chain and jerk, and you'll feel it. And when you hit, hit some good jerks, you just let it go, and then you know a nice spot of oysters. That's what I'm getting ready to do now. This is the old-fashioned way. Most of the guys got these high-resolution depth finders. They actually show the oysters and shells on the bottom. I'm starting to get some hits on the chain, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap the buoy up. What I'm doing now, I'm, I'm going to tie up my, my drag weight, keeps the boat in one place, and I can move around. I put a put a half hitch and a bowling on it that hold this anchor good. There's a crankshaft. I use the crankshaft because you can move the boat with a crankshaft, it'll drag along the bottom. So when you get off a spot, you can keep moving the boat. Now if it blows, I gotta go on anchor, grappling anchor. Up on top there is a grappling anchor. This is this is called the oyster culling table. You tong your you tong your oysters up oysters and shells on the table, and when you get it filled up, you get down, you call it off, you know, separate, you keep the three inch and above oysters, large oysters, and then you throw the shells and the small oysters back. So the small oysters is something to look forward to the following year. These are all these are 18 foot shafts. There's a legal oyster, there's another legal oyster, small oyster, small oyster. This is close to legal. What I'm doing, I'm taking the, the heads on the bottom of these shafts and I'm feeling the bottom. And when I feel oysters, then I'll make a lick.
Yeah, right now I'm I'm calling oysters. That, what that means is I'm I'm keeping the big oysters, the three inch oysters and larger. I keep put them in the basket, and anything under three inches and all the shells go back overboard for, for the future. Like I said before, I started oysters in 1969 when I got out of high school, and back then it was it was unbelievable the amount of oysters. But it was it was it was just pr more pristine conditions. We had tea leaf grass coming off all these bars out to six feet. You, tea leaf grass was so thick you couldn't even hardly walk through it when you were trying soft grass. You're wrapping up propellers. Now you don't see any. So the biggest problem, in my opinion. Is pollution and overdevelopment and disease. Now, in the past, in the past, the oyster uh, limits were set probably too high in the 60s and 70s. But the problem is, is it that you, all this three inch, under three inch oysters throwing back, if they had to live, there still would have been plenty of oysters. But disease is the main culprit. I, I left bars, I've left bars where there was nations of small oysters and come back the next year and probably find a living oyster. Now we're restricted to uh, 15 bushel per man, tonging and diving, and uh, 12 bushel man with the dredge rig. So it's, we can't go much lower, we'll be out of business. But like I said, in the first part of the season, we can all get our limit. We planted 8,000 bushel of wild seed in this river in the last couple of years, so we, it was good this year, it's going to be good next year, but the third year, it looks bleak. We, otherwise, with the replenishment program, you've got to keep bringing seed in every year to keep the industry going. And unfortunately, the department's, Department of Natural Resources is getting away from that, but it's, very, it's critical that we keep that seed program going until they can establish an aquaculture. In other words, we're out of we're out of job. It's not bad for a half a day's catch.